Okay, let's look at a couple of words on our statement of cash flows and see what they mean. So we have a statement of cash flows and we are going to categorize all of our cash inflows and outflows into operating, investing, and financing. And then we're going to add or subtract, we call that netting, these three activities together to get our total cash flows. We add that to our beginning cash that we find on our balance sheet and that together should equal our ending cash so that becomes our check figure. So why do we need to know about this from versus used for? Here's the reason. For operating activities we may have a net increase or a net decrease from operating activities and sometimes especially on a test it may not tell you if it's a plus or minus so you'll need to look at the words to see. So if this were to say cash flows from operating activities, operating activities, if that's the case, then that means that you got cash from. So that would actually indicate that it was a net increase. You had more cash coming in than you had going out for operating activities. However, if it would have said cash flows used for operating activities, then this would indicate to us that we had a net decrease from our operating activities. All right, so it's the same thing for the rest of these. If it said cash flows from investing activities, then it would be a net increase that came from investing activities. So for example, in that situation, we must have sold more of our long-term assets than we used cash to purchase them. And again, that would be cash flows from investing activities. We sold more and got more cash than what we paid out for those. And if it was a net decrease, we would have called it cash flows used for investing activities. So these words give us a big hint into whether or not it's a net increase or a net decrease. Just to give an example of the financing activities, if we had a net increase in financing activities, then we must have issued out more stock than what we paid in dividends or what we paid out for long-term liabilities. If we had a net decrease, it would be the opposite. We must have paid out more for these financing activities than what we brought in. So this is how we use the words net increase and net decrease.